Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a non bingoy rack. I've got a good scoring tile in the J. Gel is good. How about gelled? I think that's also good. So, where can I get maximum value? A takes an R in front and an A after. I think this is the only way I can get the J doubled. So, gelled for 40. Wow, and I draw more scoring tiles in the X and the Z. And there's a good Z spot above this E. So ZE could play there for over 60 points. And there's an X spot under the A of Aya. So anywhere for X and Z. Zex and Zax are both good, so I could play that in row I. But certainly at the moment, the ZE spot is my preference. Well, that's been blocked. Fantastic bingo for opponent. Both blanks. 70 points. Now, is this Z spot definitely gone? Any ZAF, ZEF words? No. Nope. So, yes, it has gone. So, this is what I was thinking about. Zax for 44, and this rack leave is okay. Is there anywhere better? Zoe is good. But then I don't have anything to go next to the U. Yeah, I think this is this is fine. And my rack looking a little more bingo-y. Do I have one? The S looks a pretty handy floater. Atrophy through A and R. Aphrodite through A and R. The anagram of atrophied. Yeah, 40 points for opponent. So Zep is good. So I do have a pretty handy scoring spot in row K. I have PEH for 50. Let me put that back. Am I missing a bingo? What are the floaters? So how about the S? I have the ship ending. Not seeing anything. Could it be an S plural of a seven? Is there a seven on my rack? I have the oid ending, not seeing anything. Any seven would play because obey is good. So other floaters, you. No. Oh. No, you I've considered. How about the D? No, L? Yep, so I have considered everything. So, wow, actually I can do a much better here. I can play hoped for 60. Not a good pickup, three eyes. But Overall, this rack is looking a little bit bingo-y, but can I get rid of two eyes? Wow, quick play by opponent with crab for 41. So, opponent maintaining a good lead. And the C looks pretty handy with eyes. And I'm not looking for a bingo here. I don't think there is one with three eyes. But I have ionic. Does that take a P in front? That would be Pionic for 30, and it does. Now, just 17 points between us. This looks a balanced rack. Three scoring tiles. Just wondering about Thymine. Is Thymine good? Something tells me it isn't, but this is Void Challenge, so... Let me see if this stays on. And it does. Fantastic. And I draw Vegas. Does that play anywhere? Gosh, so close. Oh, wow. And Mole takes an A and an S. But Vegas doesn't fit with either. 
wow, what a shame. So Vegas almost fits in column two, ES, but then OT, not good. Doesn't play in row N. Am I missing anywhere? And what about alternative anagrams? Well, I don't think there are any seven letter anagrams of Vegas. I would have Vulgates through an L. So I think what's going to score best is Vegas down here. 43. Wow, what about playing just govs? Thirty one. Okay, I think Vegas is better. But can I do even better? Can I get the V doubled? No, I don't think I can. So let me play Vegas. I was slightly hesitant because the S in row O is inviting a bingo in row O on an otherwise blocked board. I am going with this. Well, not a million miles away from a bingo myself, but I don't think I do have one. I've drawn another UV combo. Great, grid takes an E, I've got one. So I've got vatted, what about vaulted? I think vaulted is good. For 37. Onto a G, I would have striking. And I have a 130 point lead. Great, just 16 for opponent. Where are the lanes? I don't have a seven, so where are the floaters? There's D and D of gelled. What would the E need? Well, I don't have anything which goes after F. And then there's column two. Just wondering, given my lead, if I should be taking that out. Grid and vaulted has done for the bottom of the board. A jar is good, so that's quite a hot spot. What can go above the E? Well, just a W. Q still to come. There are QI spots. I'm thinking about playing kin. That takes an S. There are two S's to come and only scores 20 points. Tab is good. 13 minutes on my clock. Look at this. Opponents only used less than 10, less than two minutes of time. So I'm thinking about kin. Stir is a pretty good rack leave. And look at this, five E's to come and two A's, all of which help this rack enormously. Any play in row E is going to create new lanes. I'm far enough ahead to survive a bingo. And I'm taking out a seven letter lane. Yeah, I am going with this. And I do draw an E. And the whole rack looks pretty bingo-y, except I'm not seeing one. Wow, opponent opens the board up massively. What about the A? Strainer, Restrain, Transire, Terrains. None of them with the A close to the end. Snurter, not good. I think it's snurting. So I've got the inter prefix with R S. Wow, what a wretched rack. It looks so close to being a bingo. Inters is one of the best six letter sets. I don't want to draw the Q. Quite tempting just to play off the R. And see if I draw a bingo. If I played it above the E, I would be taking out a hot... Well, it's not that hot with one a, only one A to come. But I'd be creating a double-double lane, which... I may be able to take advantage of. But my lead, 120 points. I don't wish to be overly reckless. 
But I do like the idea of playing off just an R. Except if, if I draw a seven letter bingo, a lot of those bingos wouldn't actually play because there are no seven la letter lanes for bingos ending in S. Maybe I should create one. For how foolish is this? What can go above the R? Well, any vowel. But what can opponents score in that spot? Not much. And with Q, U and two Ws to come, opponent is unlikely to have a bingo. I am going with this. So I have entries. I have a double, double in row E. Opponent goes in that spot for 27. I still have a 90 point lead. Opponent takes out the A. What about the R? I have reinters and rentiers. I do have a bingo. That is fantastic. Row E is a lane with the S in second place. I don't think there is one. Yeah. So. I have rentiers for 68. And that empties the bag. Opponent used, has used up just over two minutes of time. And I've got 10 minutes, 24 for opponent. He's got geos on his or her rack. So does opponent have an out? Not sure if geos has an anagram. I don't think it does. Akin is good, not just skin. So what to do here? Well, I have EU for 30. That's pretty good. Yeah, and this game is, is definitely won. I'm not seeing an out for opponent. And even if there is one, opponent may not spot it. Am I going out with AIOU? Pretty unlikely, although Orloy is good. No Ds for audio. So could I have an out in two? Kuia is good, that doesn't quite work. Tav is good. What about Owie? Not seeing anywhere for that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go, go for the points. U for 30. And is opponent going to slow down now? 24 for opponent. So what am I going to do here? I have autos in column 11. Opponent's got an O, so they've got OS, they've got KO, definitely going out. So I can play hour for 16. And I don't think there's going to be much available, which is better than that. So opponent's got just the solitary tile, the O on their rack. And that's it. And the final score, 320 for opponent, 465 for me, a winning margin of 145 points. So a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. Huge margin of victory at the end, but it didn't feel like it was going that way at the beginning. So opponent to start with the blank, plays air, and I have gelled for 40. Opponent draws the second blank, plays flatuous, could have played fallout through this L as a double double. Now, what do I do? I play Zax for 44. I could have got four more points, H12, axed across from the A. Interesting, hanging on to the H and the Z. Hyde is a much more bingo rack leave than AHIZ, but Z is capable of a big non-bingo score, so 
difficult to choose between those two. Opponent plays B. And wow, D5. What is this? D5, double, double through ZE of Poetized for 80 points. Well done if you spotted that. I was really pleased with Hoped, but there were 20 more points available. Balance rack, missed bingo, plays crab, could have played carbons or corbans. Now, I trail. This is my rack. I play Pionic for 30, but M3. Interesting Poitin available, making Hap and Bobo for 12 more points and only a slightly worse rack leave, but leaving the C available. Opponent plays Font. And now here we go. I play Thigh Mines for 70, but A2. Thigh Mine playable for a lot more points in column 2. And sticking a T in the middle of row A does not cost the move 18 points. So i a little hasty in playing Thigh Mines. I think perhaps because I was unsure as to whether it was good. Now, I, this is where I start to get a good lead. And opponent struggling a bit with their rack. Plays Mole. And I have Vagues for 43. Opponent still no vowels. Plays on with Grid. And I play Vorted. I could have played its anagram, Vajuta. Yep. Getting the T doubled for three more points. Opponent got some vowels, but doesn't help with the Q. Plays root. F2. Interesting knit, and nothing goes in front of the T, so would that have been better than kin? I, I really f quite fancied this rack cleave as having the potential to mature into a bingo, and I was sufficiently far ahead to survive if opponent bingoed, so I don't mind creating the extra bingo lane on what is a fairly tight board. Opponent plays craned. And now no bingo here, despite this, this rat looking really good. And I play off just the R to create a lane. And I think that's worth doing. These rat leaves are pretty grim. Opponent plays cheese. And now I do have a bingo with rentiers. And I could have played inserter for two more points. Opponent plays Wirt, and here we are in the end game. Last six tiles on my rack. And I play U for 30. Does anything down here look like I could go out in two? Possibly EOU somewhere. Okay, so there may have been an out in two, but I think U for 30 points was pretty handy. Opponent plays Geese. Still no out. Wow, hour was not the best play. There was one more point, N8. Ah, just below the M rather than above it of Adu and Udo. Opponent's final move gets nine for go. Could have got a, two more points. So what a game. Super exciting stuff. And opponent and I were neck and neck for about half the game. And then... I managed to get a slight lead. What gave me that? Possibly thigh mines and then followed by vagues and a late bingo of rentiers really secured the victory. So many thanks to opponent for a good battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Like and subscribe and I will see you next time.